Hello. So in this tutorial, we will look into MD412 and how do we actually do coding, which is the fundamental part of the qualitative data process, I suppose. Now, um, assuming you've already uh, got all your data inside your MVivo under your files, so in my case, I have nine transcripts. Um, what you will have to do when you start coding is to utilize the code options on the left hand side. Now, there are two ways in general to approach coding. One is that you would have already created your list of nodes, your framework of what you're going to be coding. And if this is the approach which you would like to adopt, uh, for example, you have a research question and you're looking for four specific things, A, B, C, D. Therefore, you will have this framework called A, B, C, D that you're hoping to look into your data. In which case, you can either right click and click on new node or click on the create tab at the top and press node. Both options are perfectly fine. So you might want to uh, give yourself some labels um, if that is the way you want to do it. And in this example, I'm just going to be creating my framework, which could be uh, called ABC, but also called A.1, in which case I can just drag and drop and to make some sort of hierarchies. So you could begin by creating the whole framework of the interesting nodes, which will be useful. Alternatively, if you are quite grounded in your approach um, or you don't have a very strong preconception about how you approach your coding, you might do what we call a more inductive approach to coding. And to do that in NVivo, you would probably have your data, such as a transcript, already opened. And um, like I have on my screen here, and imagine none of these exist. So let's just delete them all. And I start from scratch. So while looking across my data, I realized that, okay, for the first question, I would like to call this or to create a label uh, which will summarize or to uh, uh, make an abstraction of what this actually means. So all those three sentences actually means how people will spend the time. There are five ways which I'm aware of that we can do coding, and one of which is to use the tabs at the top. And in the MVVO 12 version, it's all collated underneath the document option. So this is the option that you will need, the code icon. So if we click on the code icon, you will see that to create a new node, you just have to click on the bottom left icon. And this is the place where you can type in the label of the code and then press OK. Um, basically, use of time will now appear under the node window, uh, showing us there are one files and one references. Now, one file basically means that we currently have Anna coded underneath use of time. That's one file. One references means that we have got one chunk of text that are being coded underneath use of time. And the chunk of text is basically what we have highlighted. And if you double click on one of your nodes, it should open up and show you what code has been done. So at the moment, we have reference one. And of course, the more you do, then the list gets bigger. And the idea really is so that when we look across our data, let's say we go to Bernadette and looking across the data and realize that, yes, she also said something in relation to how she uses her time. And we want to put this text or bits of the text together with what we have done for Anna. Now, uh, the option which I'm going to use is the same one. So using the, uh, the, the tab at the top, click on code. So rather than creating a new node, I will just create it into an existing node. Just click on what you already created. Now, if you've got several different nodes here, you can actually select several different nodes at the same time. And you can actually call the same piece of text into multiple nodes. Press OK. And what you should see now is two files and two references, because Bernadette and Anna are both situated under use of time, and those are the two references. And of course, if we create more uh, coding in the same node, then the numbers will increase to three. And if you double check it, there we have it, use of time increased to three. Now, there are different ways to do coding, and the ones which I showed you is uh, ones which are friendly if you just want to use the mouse. Um, but you could also use the coding toolbar at the bottom, uh, it works in a fairly similar way. Uh, if you're a mouse user, right click, press code. In a similar way, um, or if you like to use the keyboards, 
you also see the hotkeys here. So control F2 for a Windows user or command F2, I believe, for a Mac. Um, so you, there are multiple ways that you can use to create a node. But essentially, it's the same idea. You hide a piece of text and then you're trying to generate as many nodes as you feel that is useful. Um, now, one final method of coding, which uh, is probably the most efficient at the moment, is to drag and drop. So instead of clicking on any buttons, once you have highlighted your text, you just hold down your mouse, left mouse key, and then you move it across to the left-hand side of the screen under this huge box that says drag selection here to code into your node. You release your mouse, and now you can type in your um, name of the node. Time is in the future. Okay. Now, you will notice that this is actually coded wrong in terms of what the question is asked, but this is the whole point. If you've made a mistake, you can just edit and rename them. So if you just right click on any of your node, go down to the fourth bottom, node properties, you will open up the same screen, uh, just one slightly bigger, where you can edit. So you could just say something alongside um, feelings about time. So uncoding is pretty much the similar idea. This time, you actually open the nodes which you have already created and coded, and instead, you will read through what you have already done and highlight the stuff which you feel shouldn't belong there. Now, if you feel that this code is completely wrongly created, then just use the option at the top, uncode from this node, which is equally good, or you can use all the other options, which includes the right click, just choose uncode. If, however, you think that actually um, you've accidentally coded it in the wrong place, so instead of coding it in feelings about time, I've accidentally coded it under use of time, well, the easiest way is to highlight it, drag and drop it into the new one, and then uncode it from this node. There isn't really a cut and paste option, so to speak. Uh, using drag and drop and then uncode from this node is absolutely fine. And just to reiterate, you can drag and drop into as many different nodes as you have, as you want to, and you can also create nodes from within the node. But sometimes you may have the same piece of text which can have different interpretations. So how this person uh, spent the time, for example, it could be a hobby, how they spend the time. You never know. So that's how we deal with coding and uncoding in an Australia.